Hello everyone, this is Krode giving you um, uh, just a tutorial video and a strategy video that I recently played. This is not game three in the best of three matchup just because, well, um, there isn't a game three to watch. Here you have me spawning as the blue Terran player. Meanwhile, you have Ray Tang spawning as the um, red Terran player playing against a teal Protoss and then also um, a purple Protoss. So this is going to be a dual Terran versus dual Protoss here, um, here on the map. I don't know all the names of the 2v2 maps, my apologies. Anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about some strategies in 2v2. I know that 2v2 is rather popular, and now Ray Tang tell, um, just trying to organize and trying to um, play and work together as a team. Now, we do know that there is one one Protoss player, but we don't know that there's actually two. One of the Protoss players um, chose random as well, so we will be going for a double Rax build here on the map and trying to put a lot of pressure with a lot of early marines so it is going to be a very very heavy marine rush now this is the first time i've actually played on this map so this map is um, actually fairly unique to me i'm, I'm not exactly sure how um, how you make your way out there are um, um, essentially two ways to get into your opponent's space there's one north side passway over here one south side passway passageway over here as well and I unfortunately didn't know the map well enough when I attacked move. I tried to move alongside my uh, my partner's units. And you'll see what happens in just a moment as I am now studying the map for really the first time. Now production wise you can see both sides uh, doing similar build orders. We are getting double gas over here or gas by the Protoss player. So they will be able to train up zealots and stalkers. As you can see um, Law now getting a, a gateway over here. Perhaps another pylon in just a moment. And then be able to get up a cybernetics core. Scouting probes also on the way out as I am trying to figure out how I can build this front door here. So just trying to build this front door so know that no units can get inside at all. I can finish it off with another supply depot or another racks. I am going for a four four racks build here on the map. Now excuse me. One of the reasons why I wanted to cast this particular game is I wanted to show um Whenever you play a game, especially in 2v2 random, a lot of the game really depends on how you and your partner and want to work together. If your partner is going to decide to commit to a specific strategy, you need to have a strategy that complements it. Otherwise, you're going to have a very, very difficult time trying to figure out what um, or trying to do a, a, have a difficult time to, in order to try to counter. If, you, if your opponent's strategy fails, then... You're, uh, then you're, uh, sorry, if your strategy fails, most likely what's going to happen is that your opponents are going to try to counterattack you. And since your partner has already lost his units, you're going to have a 2v1 fight as well. So I did try to come back in with a very similar strategy in, in order to try to push in. One thing to also note, there are destructible rocks over here on, this, on the back door here. So you want to be careful about these back door rocks and make sure that they are not destroyed very easily. The map is mirrored, so there's also a set of backdoor rocks here. There is no backdoor rocks over here for the top right and the bottom left. Marines tr quickly trying to make their way out. Army-wise, you can see 200, 200, 100, 0 at this stage. As we are just trying to train up as many Marines as possible, going into a 4 racks build. You can also see that Ray Tang going into a 4 racks build, but he's keeping all of his Marines in, or all of his barracks in separate locations so that it is not as easy to spot and find. One Zelnaga watchtower down over here quickly reveals any units coming along the south side as we are now getting more gateways over here. So Law looking to perhaps do some very aggressive um, gateway pressure as well as my partner and I are about to move out a decent number of Marines, nine Marines um, in my group. And let's see, he also has nine Marines as well. And we are going to be making our way out to try to get as much damage as possible. We have a large number of Marines already pushing out at the 5 minute 30 second mark. Um, my units were perhaps moving a little bit um, a little bit in a different direction. Need to try to move them down over here. And I was hoping that Rave would perhaps try to establish this location here. As we are now getting more warp gates coming in. So this is going to be a double 4 gate versus a double 4 racks. And unfortunately, a double four um, four gateway does allow for stalkers. Stalkers are very, very strong in that they have superior range over marines. On top of that, barracks without reactors um, cannot keep up with gateways. Gateways are a much, much more power, um, train up m much stronger units very, very quickly. And you can see now the warp gates are here. Marines are quickly trying to come in, trying to take down the pylon to make sure that his buildings are not powered enough. So one gateway is taken down over here and the marines are trying to fight back. 
trying to pull back. Both sides getting a lot of damage. And now I'm trying to take down the Cybernetics core. But now I see that there's units along the backside as well. So Lights Out also coming back in. Both sides engaging the force fields. Actually causing a little bit of a problem. And now we're fighting a war on two fronts. So trying to get as much damage as possible. Trying to take down key buildings as well. Luckily for Law, Law still has three warp gates powered over here. Marines fighting back over here. Marines now trying to give chase as well but this is going to be very difficult as lights out losing a couple of his units as well and i'm trying to regroup my units as quickly as possible trying to get them in and also lights out taking more damage continually we i can see army wise i still have a decent number of marines but it, uh, law still has a large number of stalkers as those stalkers move much more quickly and are able to get a lot of damage in the cybernetics core already down to 62 hit points but lights out now coming back with more and more units just because they're able to reinforce so quickly. More Marines now coming in over here. So Ray Tang did not um, rally his units into our group. So we were not getting the reinforcements that we needed. And now my Marines are going to be forced to turn around and retreat. Retreat back over here and try to regroup. I am going into um, double refineries now. In order to uh, get some of those Marauders, definitely need Marauders with the sheer number of Stalkers that have come out in this game so far. Lights Out now making his way out. I am also trying to expand as well. I know that this game, um, that things are not looking good. If I need to pull my SCBs off the line, I need to be able to retrain them up very, very quickly. As the Stalkers now pushing on this back door. Our army wise, you can see what 750 versus 800. So our army is significantly smaller as this army of law now going to be pushing in in just a moment. And I was I was under the impression that law was going or that his units would also be on the low ground as well. But Ray um, keeping his units on the high ground and me losing a majority of my units. SCV is now coming off the mineral line in order to try to fight back. And now Marines coming on both sides. Law having to fight a war on two fronts. SCVs, however, slower than stalkers, so not really able to engage. And now a fresh group of stalkers inside my base as the SCVs and Marines are now trying to engage back over here. Lights out. And now just uh, being able to move and attack. Marines are getting some damage, but not very much at all. As my SCVs are trying to get as much damage as possible as well. Marines still giving chase as Marines over here trying to fight back. But things are just not looking good. Law getting a lot of damage here. A fresh wave of Stalkers about to come inside my base. Marines trying to turn around, trying to fight back against those Stalkers. But the sheer number... And that's going to be too much. And I will be having a GG in just a moment. So there you go. There's the GG from me. As I know that the game is already over. I do have a second command center upgrading to an orbital command. But with the sheer number of stalkers inside my base. And only three marines between me and my partner. That is just simply not enough to fend off the sheer number of stalkers already here. So... Um, perhaps a different strategy would have worked. I don't want to show you games where I always win because um, I'm really not that good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this 2v2 uh, replay with me. It was random team, so we didn't have a set strategy going into this particular matchup. But I still hope that it was entertaining for you nonetheless, trying to just adopt your strategy to your opponent or to your partners and trying to execute something. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't, but that is the joys and headaches and heartaches of Random Team. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this 2v2 replay.